Hello guys, good morning everyone. Week update on uh, Ripple uh, USD, US dollar. Actually, uh, today I have an important announcement. Uh, I really believe Ripple is going to hit a target between 50 and 70 US dollar, okay, within 2020. Uh, here we have a chart, actually I have two charts, okay, one that which I have used uh, in my previous analysis with the volumes, okay, uh, a weekly chart, and uh, on the below section we see a price oscillator with two moving average, one short at 7 period and one at 50 period. Most important signal here, the price oscillator for the first time after uh, a few months has turned positive, which means has crossed above the zero line, which is an ultra bullish uh, signal. Okay, but most importantly, the volumes here. Okay? I've been saying uh, several times on my previous uh, analysis that we should always look at volumes, and here we see a huge increase in terms of volumes. Again, this is a weekly chart so every candle is a weekly one and every time we have experienced an increase in volume we have seen some huge increase in terms of volatility with long white candles it happened here those volumes were above the average even if it's not so easy to visualize but here is easier okay with the break of the uh, previous horizontal resistance and then here again another very suspicious volume here we have an accumulation period okay and then a huge unbelievable big volume okay with a very small uh, long white candle what is happening now actually the strong hands are accumulating in other words they are buying okay uh, so what I expect from here is to see a huge movement upwards, okay? Uh, again, the oscillator, which is a very powerful uh, indicator, uh, very often is able to anticipate the future movement that we are going to see in the next uh, future, okay? So, uh, this oscillator positive, huge volumes detected, Period of accumulation, we are going to see an explosion of uh, ripples on the next uh, month. So let's now switch to this other chart uh, visible on tradingview.com. Uh, here we have actually the indication for the target price. Okay, I said something between 50 and 70 US dollar per every XRP. Okay, for every ripple, which obviously can give us the opportunity for many of us to uh, make actually let's arrive to the point a lot of money okay that's the point we need to make money when you trade the market you trade it just because of money okay or okay you can trade it because you like it but in any case the final result the final outcome is making money okay so what we see here is a in a, in a channel okay in, uh, which is oriented upwards okay so is we have an uptrend it's a four days chart this one with the uh, XS broker giving us the data you no know, back to the 2014 here we have seen uh, we see two cycles okay but related to cycles uh, that we see in this analysis uh, let's not let's not be stuck let's not pay too much attention okay on uh, on cycles because um, cycles are never precise okay uh, think about the uh, physics law is like you know the waves in the sea they are never the same the, you can have some uh, wave of the same or similar amplitude but then you can see for example a third a fourth a fifth wave which is totally different in terms of amplitude okay so actually when we talk about uh, cycles we shouldn't be uh, so attached to the idea about you know the uh, time frame about the deadline okay about when it will happen when we will see 50 or 60 or 70 us dollar okay um, it's really it's extremely difficult to uh, forecast when we are going to hit this target simply because the cycles are never 
or almost never equal to themselves okay so if here we see a cycle which goes back from 2014 until 2017 okay we, in a huge period of accumulation then we've seen a, a strong breakout okay, upward with uh, actually starting in march 2017 at 0.0045 us dollar till 3.5 us dollar okay the, the high, whole time high now is uh, 3.70 US dollar. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, here those are the the group moving averages. Okay. Here we have a period of uh, between 2014-2017. The group moving average were uh, um, actually crossing between each other. And then in, at the beginning of 2017, we've seen the explosion, the long white candle. Actually, and uh, we see here with the uh, breakup okay of the horizontal resistance we see a huge movement upwards okay it's like a rocket okay so we will be we will be most probably seeing the same okay in the in the near future again as i've been saying it here we see a calculation of 944 days so they are predicting uh, this analysis is not mine i'm using this analysis just to give you okay the idea about the channel which is uh, under formation okay uh, let's uh, let's uh, just have a look let's just uh, remind for for a while the principles okay for example of the harsh bands okay um actually those this channel is not correct i can tell you again i didn't make this analysis and i can tell you that the channel like this actually is not exactly the best uh, doesn't give you the best idea because channels should be based on curves okay mm. Uh, because this is the nature of the physics, this is the nature of the curve, okay, this is the nature of the Gauss curve, okay, you have an uptrending, you have an, uh, the first part of the wave is an ascending wave, and the second one is a descending wave, so actually, we should see uh, a curve, okay, uh, passing by the all-time high, or the highs, the previous highs, okay, so we shouldn't see a perfect line like this, by the way, uh, the concept is the, more or less is the same. The target price will not be the same, okay? Using the philosophy that I'm using, the principle the, of the physics, the dynamics of the physics that I'm explaining to you. Uh, by the way, uh, the concept is absolutely the same. So here we have a period of accumulation. We have seen, here actually we are seeing exactly the same that we have seen here in uh, back in 2000 between 2014 2017 okay so um, after the explosion and then after the uh, widening out of the moving averages the group moving averages what we have we are here that the moving average are actually crossing between themselves and here what we have a bit of accumulation in my previous analysis i've been saying how OBV, the unbalanced volume, is predicting a huge movement upwards since there is a huge bullish divergence between the indicator okay, and the price action. So what we are seeing here, okay, they are stating that before the end of 2019 we might see the explosion. Uh, I cannot say if it will be uh, before the, uh, the end of 2019 because I don't have the crystal ball, so this is just a prediction made um, uh, uh, with the assumption that what happened in the past will happen in the future, which is an assumption which, which is valid actually uh, as a sense, uh, but anyway, we cannot say that we will have the same span, okay, the same kind of cycle. Most probably we will have a different cycle, okay, it will not be so precise. So if it was, if the previous one was nine, a cycle of 90, 944 days, okay, including the ascending and descending wave that doesn't mean at all that we are going to see another uh, uh, cycle of the same duration okay and of course here it is it is even wrong because uh, i don't see here it's missing already one month so it's even wrong the, the calculation by the way uh, what what i can tell you that most probably okay based on my trading experience and can tell you that we might see a movement of a huge amplitude between uh, within the end okay or the beginning of summer 2020 i cannot say that will happen uh, be, uh, within the end of 2019 what i can say that this target price uh, target profit is realistic so it's nothing uh, it's nothing credible it's a realistic target price thank you very much guys